Hello, and thank you for uh, choosing Orchestra's preview of SAP Business One 8.8. .8. Today, we're going to talk about the new Data Archive feature. So, the Data Archive feature is located in Administration, Utility, Data Archive Wizard, and it has a couple of prerequisites. One prerequisite is that you've done your period in closing for the period we're going to archive, and the other is that the posting periods be set to locked. Um, one thing I want to highlight just for a quick before and after is the chart of accounts. So let's just look at our cash on hand and we can see right now we have a lot of transactions in 2006 which make up our current cash on hand. Um, and then we'll look at that again after the archiving so that you can see the effect it will have on the postings. So Let's, without further ado, I should say, let's begin the archive. So let's open up our data archiving wizard, select next, and say start new data archive run. And we're going to archive um, 2006. So we say next. And one thing to note is that you do need to have a current database backup in order for this function to work. So it's going to go through now and examine every transaction in 2006 and it's going to look for what we would call the closed document cluster or basically from quotation to invoice and the incoming payments, outgoing payments, deposits, everything associated with the transaction um, from beginning to end must all be closed in order for that cluster to be valid for archiving. We have two easy examples here. Uh, cluster 1 has two of most marketing documents, but it only has a single deposit. But all of these have been fully uh, registered, and this is eligible to be closed as indicated by the green check mark. We can go back to our cluster view, and we can see that document number two, our cluster two, is not. And the reason it's not is that it still has an open customer equipment card. As you can see, these customer equipment cards are still set to a status of active, so these are not archivable. So um, we can preview here and see what all that it's suggesting we archive. Or not really suggesting, it's telling us it's going to archive these. We say next. Um, we can. How do we want our uh, journal entry to be entered in the system? So we can either have it do a single entry for 2006. We can have it do an entry every sub-period or every month. Um, and this will become more apparent as to how this works when we look at the chart of accounts after the fact. So I'm going to call this um, Data Archive 2006 in my reference number. And it's going to give me a suggestion. It's going to say this is my expected result. I think that it's going to reduce the database by about 10 megabits. Um, it's a 13% reduction since I have an 85 megabit database and you know, etc, etc. Alright, and now if we click next, it's going to begin the process. So I'm going to click next and I'm going to pause and this takes about two minutes. Alright, the database uh, shrinking has, or not that you're shrinking, the database archiving has completed. Um, I don't believe I've set up SQL quite perfectly on this VPC so the uh, shrinking of the database failed but that does not affect the uh, success of the archive and this database is now archived. Um, if we look here at our SQL Server um, actually we can't see it here, let me pull up my backup file alright we can see in, in the actual uh, file structure that there is now an SBO Demo 1 archive read only backup this is the archive database and now we can see how this affects within SAP since that database is for reporting purposes only. We go back to SAP, let's go back to our chart of accounts, and we can see that our balance is the same, but if we look at the history, all of those transactions in 2006 are mostly gone except for those that could not be fully closed. And the ones that could all got lumped together because I chose a single period um, journal entry. So here it is. And if we drill into this journal entry, we can see this is the data archive um, journal entry. I hope that helps, and I'll